and welcome. Today's video, we are talking about what the choices are for the BoxyCharm July base and premium box. I'll give you all my thoughts, what I'm leaning towards picking for my box as well. But before we jump in, if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name's Rhonda and over here, we're all about embracing the hot mess in this judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone where we sit back, relax, we play, we talk, we cook, we clean, we do the things, but we always keep it cute or put it on mute. Let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about two the two out of the three boxes for the month of July for BoxyCharm. I say two out of the three because they do offer a luxe box, but that's quarterly and we just saw it for June, so we're not gonna see it again for a couple months. So let's go ahead and start off with talking about the base box. Now the BoxyCharm base box is $27.99, and you do get to customize one of the items in the box. Now in this box, you're gonna get free shipping and I think it's like five full size products and we see two choices what looks like for July and y'all when I say I'm so excited to start seeing more and more makeup coming to BoxyCharm like I can't like I, I have no words I'm just so happy to see it so I think they've heard us I think they're definitely listening to us and I need to know what y'all's thoughts are on this so first and you know this one's a hard one for me. The first is an eight pan palette from Phase Zero Makeup. Now this is an eyeshadow palette that does have a retail value of $40.96. It looks like we've got some mayats and some shimmers in this particular palette. Now I personally never tried, sorry if you hear my son gaming, It we live here. You know, I just, it is what it is. But anyways, as far as this palette goes, it looks like it's an eight pan palette of nice, beautiful earth tones. And I think it's beautiful, especially with, you know, the summertime bronzy eyes. It's just absolutely beautiful. So this is actually called the Necessities Eyeshadow Palette. And it may be new. I'm not 100%. I don't see any reviews over on their website. The swatches look really pretty. This is definitely like right in your girl's cozy zone. A little information, it's the Travel Proof Multi-Use Palette. This new formula delivers high pigment and blends easily to a soft wash of color with a with little fallout. Each of our palettes come with an assortment of Maya, satin, and metallic finishes to achieve any look from day to night. It is really pretty. It's cruelty free. It's a multi-use, travel friendly, and clean beauty. So that is the first choice item. Next, we are seeing Ali Oop back. I do believe is how you say it. So this is the Ali Oop Stack the Odds. Just FYI, I pulled this information directly from Instagram, specifically Boxy Sneak Peeks. You're going to see their handle up in all of these pictures uh, to give credit where credit is due. So let's talk a little information about this Stack the Odds. Uh, this has me pretty intrigued. This has a $38 retail value. It has a blush, bronzer, and a highlight. So I'm on the Ali alley-oop website it looks like for the stack the odds they have three different like stacks to choose from i don't know if we're going to get that kind of choice when we're making our choice or if it's like okay you get the eyeshadow palette or this specific stack uh so i'm not for sure on that but i will say that this has darn near five stars 226 reviews so this product is very well liked and you know what I'm looking at some pictures which I'll pop up here for you all and people are actually holding this in their hand and I'll be real with you all I thought that this product was going to be a lot smaller kind of like a here we go kind of like this Wonder Beauty eyeshadow I thought for whatever reason this is what I was expecting for this so it definitely looks like because it's a blush bronzer and highlighter you are going to be receiving larger pans and honestly y'all if it's kind of a hard choice for me but i think i kind of want to try this stack out so 
I may just end up choosing this for me and my base box. I feel like too, I am like queen of using my bronzers as like a transition or even just a eyeshadow. So I feel like this makes it even more friendly because you could use all of those for your face and then of course you could use it for your eyes. So that's in all honesty what I'm leaning towards. So let's talk about the premium box. Now the premium box is $39.99 and in this box you do get to customize two of the items in the box I need to know y'all's thoughts on this July box now again I'm pulling this from boxy sneak peeks and a lot of these products are repeats now like I always tell you all when it comes to repeat products if it's like a luxe or a premium item and it trickled down to the base box i could care less because it's not a repeat to me it's i pay for the base box so normally if i want something that's in a, a luxe or a premium box then i'm doing my shopping at drop shop for it you know what i mean these products in here i think the choices were items that we have seen in the luxe box which now came to choice number one for the premium box. So to me again, I don't feel like that is a bad thing uh, because it's still giving us the opportunity to try those products out. You know what I mean? So the first thing that we are seeing here is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Moisturizer. I don't recall this ever being in a box. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's a good chance I am. I am queen of forgetfulness. Um, but I like that they are offering that because of the fact that it is a complexion rescue. It's a tinted moisturizer, which is great for any time. The next item we are seeing that I know, like 99% sure, was in a luxe box is this iconic London multi-use multi sculpting palette. I do not have it, so I can't tell you all how it works, but if you have received it in a past luxe or whatever box let us know down below how does it work is it a cream is it a powder i have no idea uh, the next item in here i know we've received before and i want to say this was in again a luxe box it's the ofer cosmetics on the glow pro palette y'all i freaking geek over over the flipping ofer highlighters all the time like all the time like okay do you want you want me to be honest i haven't played with this specific palette because look how pretty it is i know it's ridiculous it is totally highly 100 percent ridiculous that that's how i am i can't touch it because it's i mean look at how pretty <laughs> it's ridiculous it's ridiculous and i will be honest with y'all i have a lot of these i have like in singles because you can purchase them in singles um even right down to this bronzer the americano bronzer i have that one so i just i am ridiculous when it comes to my makeup okay we know that i don't need to hear it but i will tell you this is a beautiful palette it's a crazy expensive palette um, but if you do want to do a little shopping over over a hot mess will save you 20 percent uh, but that does look to be one of the choices available for july which i can tell you right now you will not be upset with that and then the last item we are seeing for choice one is the Redial Beauty Glass Primer, which again, I think this was a luxe item, a variation item. I can't say it was a choice item, but I do believe it was a variation item. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about choice two for the premium box. The first item that we have is the Herbivore Botanicals Rose Hibiscus Hydrating Face Mist. I love rose scented things. I love rose and jet. If you just look up like the benefits of like rose oil alone, you'll be surprised. It's it's pretty awesome. Next we're seeing the Uma Beauty Bad A, because I know your mama's got some babies out there, so I'm gonna keep it clean for you. Uh Icon My Lipstick in the shade Tracy. So it's very specific on the shade you get to choose. But in all honesty, looking at it, it looks like it's a pretty warm neutral color. Not necessarily mine but maybe yours. And then we have the Stone Street Soap, Soap House Wholesome Body Cream. Okay. Or the Key Soul Skin Care Skin Transformation Cream. Which again, I think that was another product that we've seen in the past. Was it not? 
And again, was it Lux or was it premium? I don't know because my brain is... Mm -mm. All right. I know somebody's going to be like, Rhonda, what would you pick? Choice one. If I didn't have this, I would be picking this. I would definitely be picking this and I probably would be using it because I wouldn't have the singles of it either. So, ah, uh, and I mean the blissful, it's just beautiful. If I didn't go with this one, I think the iconic Linda one is a cream bronzer. I'd probably go with that or the Bare Minerals Complete Rescue. That, that would be, so the, okay, we're just not going to put Ofer in there because I already have it. That, you know what I mean? Hold on. Wait, that makes sense, right? Okay, if I didn't have the Ofer palette, I'd pick the Ofer palette. That is what I'm trying to say. <gasps> Knocking on wood over here. And I really like contour, so I probably would go with the Iconic London. Uh, and yeah, Iconic London, then the Bare Minerals. Choice two, it's a no-brainer for me. I'd go with the Herbivore Rose Mist, hands down. Yeah, that's what I would do. So if you want to get in there and make your choices, choice date is July 13th. Let me know y'all's thoughts on the premium choices. I definitely feel like I like, okay, okay, here, here's my, oh, so many thoughts. I love that they are bringing makeup back into both of the boxes now. I love that we are getting more choices when it comes to makeup and skincare. Before I felt like it was very skincare heavy. I mean, honestly, choice two. Oh, that I don't know. I do like the body cream too. I've not tried that, but I do like to get expensive body creams and not have to fork out the money for it. So I will say though, I wish choice two maybe had like an eyeshadow palette in there versus a lipstick. I don't know. I could think for days, but. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. I am super excited to see all the makeup coming back to both those boxes. I know y'all are too. Uh, I, let me know what you guys plan on picking for your box. I think honestly, when it comes to my paid for base box, I think I'm definitely gonna go with the alley -oop, like style. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. All right, friends, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you plan on picking down below. Are you getting as excited about BoxyCharm again as I am? I am getting so flippant excited. It's ridiculous. Like, I... Yay. Okay, that's, that's my excitedness. All right, don't forget to check me out on my other channel, Hotmas Mama Vlogs for plus size curvy girl fashion hauls on my TikTok and Instagram at HotmasMama4. And until next time, kisses from Kentucky. Bye, friend. Too easily, but I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars. Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me breaking.